Okay, welcome back to the series. So we had our quick introduction, so let's actually go ahead and get started. So in this video, we'll go ahead and set up our Forge server, which will be deploying our DigitalOcean server and installing all the necessary things that Forge installs onto your server. And then um, I think that'll be it for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by doing that. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and sign into your Laravel Forge account by pressing the sign in button on the homepage press or type in your internet your username or which should be your email address and your password and press sign in and you're ready to go and let's go ahead and create a first server but you probably don't have credentials and I don't even have the credential I'm going to be using so we need to add our credential now in order to do that we need to go up here and press on your name and go to my account and then we have to go to server providers and then we're going to select DigitalOcean 2.0. Now this 2.0 stands for the API version two, and this is what DigitalOcean is now um, standing behind. So we wanna make sure we're on the latest API. Um, and we're going to type in a profile name. I'll name this OceanCasts. Go ahead and press add credentials, and it will redirect you to DigitalOcean. You're going to wanna verify that you can have access to your account. Um, Forge needs to have read and write, so it can go ahead and make servers. Um, now, this will only happen if you press the Create Server button on Forge's page. It will not just randomly spin up servers. Authorize application. It will take you back. So now we can see we have OceanCast created. But there's one more thing we need to do. In order to SSH into our server after it's been set up, or to do any kind of server administration, we need to have some kind of SSH key. Now, SSH keys are very simple to make, and we're going to make one right now before we go any further. So I'm going to open up Terminal, and I will pull it over here and I'm going to make this screen a little bit bigger. Now what we're going to do is I already have these commands typed out and you can go ahead and just look at them. They're pretty big so you should be able to read them. The first command we're going to run is sshkeygen-t rsa-capital C and then your email address in quotes. You can go ahead and press enter and it will go ahead and generate it. Now if you happen to have another key, if you happen to have another key, um, for example the if you already have an ID underscore RSA key, you don't have to overwrite that. You can just type in a path forward slash some random key name, and um, it'll go ahead and make a new key. And I already happen to have a key made for this tutorial, so I'm not going to make another one. So I'll just close out of that. The next thing we're going to want to do is copy this key to our clipboard. Now, in order to do that, we need to first see our key. So we can go ahead and do this cat command. It'll go ahead and actually export this key the public key to the command line so we can see what exactly that key is. So let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. So actually now, this is pretty simple to copy. Just select it and on your keyboard, go command copy or control copy if you're on Windows. And I actually don't think you can copy directly on Windows. You have to do some funky stuff with going up here to file, export the whole command window to a text file or something of that nature. Okay, so we have this key copy to our clipboard. So let's add it to my keys on my profile. So let's go to SSH keys, and I'm actually gonna delete this real quick. I'm going to name this SSH key MacBook, because this is my MacBook, and I'm going to type in my public key. Not, not type it in, but just paste it in. And go ahead and press add key. Awesome. So this key has been added to um, my Level Forge account. So when I go ahead and create a server now, it will automatically put this key and any other keys you have in the active keys onto your server. So now let's go ahead and create our server now that we're ready. Okay, so now we can go ahead and access our credentials that we want to use. I want to use OceanCast, but you can use whatever credentials you have um, that you added. So for the name, I'm just going to name the server Calm Temple as that's a great name for a server. I have no idea why it's called that, but that's great. Um, it's just randomly generated. The server size, I'm just going to select one gig of RAM, which is one CPU core, 30 gigabyte SSD, blah, 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 blah. That's great for what we need for this tutorial. I'm going to select New York 3 as the region, as that is closest to me. Again, you should you just select what is closest to you, or more importantly, what is closest to your prospective consumers. You can also set this server up as a load balancer. You can install PHP 5.6, install HVM and hack, or you can enable backups. Now enable backups will only work if this is a, a DigitalOcean server, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me, um, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Um, and we're not gonna do anything else because we want PHP 7.0. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create this server right now, create server. Okay, so it can take a little bit of time as it's going to have to 
first create the server and then it's going to have to SSH in and create an account and then you'll be and then it will be rolling. And we can also see down here in the recent events here in a little bit of um, like the process of what it's doing. We should see like um, server started and then stuff installed and then Nginx configuration and then a whole bunch of stuff. And we'll go over that in a little bit as soon as we get there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and then as soon as stuff starts happening, we'll resume. Okay, welcome back. So the server has finished provisioning and it went through a whole bunch of little little um, events here. Um, and as we can see, the server is up and running as of right now. Um, and we can even go ahead and refresh this connection to make sure everything's fine and it will be. All right, awesome. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, the next video, we'll go ahead and set up Envoyer and set up a site on Forge so we can start deploying. So that's it for today. If you've liked this, please go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you have any questions please let me know um and that's it for today and everybody have a great have a great day